My name is Mr. Vosters, and in this video, I will be showing you guys how to create a custom title block, just like this one in uh, Onshape. So to get started, first we're gonna go back to our kind of home base, and then we're going to create a new document. Uh, let's go ahead and create that inside of our 1.3 folder. We're gonna name this one 1.3.5, and that's gonna be, the title is gonna be Title Block. From here, we're not actually gonna make any parts. We're just gonna go straight over to the New tab option, and we're gonna create a new drawing. Uh, since we wanna be able to put this on an eight and a half by 11, we're just gonna leave it as a ANSI A inch, and we're gonna select no views and click OK. From here, we're going to uh, X out of this, X out of this, and we're gonna actually be doing some drawing in this space. So first thing we wanna delete this existing title block. Make sure you don't accidentally select like this A or this one because then you'll permanently delete that. Once you've got everything highlighted that you want, click the delete key. And then we're going to go ahead and start drawing some lines. Now the unfortunate thing with uh, the drawing page, you can't really dimension things or put things in certain places like we would in a part studio. So we don't have our constraint features or anything like that. So we're gonna have to kind of eyeball this. I like to put it uh, a little bit below the A over on the left here. And we're just gonna go straight across. It does still luckily snap to horizontal. So we're gonna go all the way over. And then once we see that little symbol pop up showing that we are uh, intersecting that line, we'll click to finish. And it's gonna to wanna to keep drawing lines. So we can hit the escape key to prevent that from happening. Then we're gonna take our line tool again and we're gonna create a little uh, square over here on the left side. So kind of estimate where a square is. I like to go maybe halfway between the corner and the two. So right there maybe, and then go straight up, click. And we can always go back and adjust this later. This will give us a good starting point. And then we're gonna to try to divide this section into three different lines. So again, you're gonna to have to eyeball this a little bit. We can adjust later. If there's any issues, hit the escape key, go back up, create another line, and go all the way over to the other side. It looks like I luckily did a pretty good job and we can use this to start populating everything. Uh, last thing we want to do is do a line tool again, and we're going to divide this horizontally into three different sections. So maybe like right between the two and here, we'll put another line. And then we'll go straight down, hit escape, go back up to the line key or the line button, and then we'll divide this in half. So we'll be maybe a little bit to the left of the one, or kind of close to the one actually and then go straight up or straight down, depending where you started your click. Okay, from here, uh, I'm thinking I may need to expand this over a little bit to the right, but let's go ahead and try putting our logo in there. So you'll have to download this to your computer, and then uh, you can click the import option here. So I already have it downloaded in my downloads folder. So if I go over to Germantown Warhawks, click open, it should upload, and then it'll show it over here. I can select it, and then I can actually kind of click and drag to put it in position. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit so it's inside my square, and I think that actually will be fine, because when we're zoomed in a little bit more, we can actually see it pretty nicely. From here, we are going to actually adjust this a little bit. We want this to come down so that we have a full line. So here, I wanna make sure this is going vertical. Sorry about that. So this whole top uh, line, we want to be uh, undivided. And then we're going to create a note. 
So I went up here and clicked the note option or you can hit the end key. And we wanna stretch this out so that we can extend our note a little bit. And then in here, we're just gonna type out Germantown or whatever school you go to. Germantown High School, Introduction to Engineering Design. So that's the name of the class that this will be used in. If you have a different class, obviously you can put something else in this line. We'll click the green check and then we're gonna to need to reposition this a little bit. So we want it to be relatively centered. There, that looks pretty good. Next up, we're gonna create another note in this box and this is gonna be our part name. So we'll type out part colon and then we're gonna actually use these uh, insert features. So I'm gonna insert the name and right now it's gonna be empty. You can just see it's got like four little dashes. Um, what this does is it's going to actually automatically populate based on what the name of the part is uh, that we're doing a drawing for. So if we're doing a drawing for um, some kind of thing that we've already modeled, that will be populated automatically in here. And that's a really nice feature that will save you a lot of work uh, when you're creating these drawings. Next up, we're going to have it automatically populate the date, which will be really handy. So under, uh, in this box, we'll create, uh, we'll type out date. And then here under insert drawing property, we're gonna select drawing date drawn. So the date that I'm doing this is the 20th of November, 2023. So look at how that automatically populates, which is perfect. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted there. Another nice thing to have is who drew the drawing. So we'll do drawn by, just write a little typo there, drawn by colon space, and then we will insert drawing drawn by uh, to make it auto populate. So it'll put my name in there. When you do this, it should put your name in there. It's a really nice thing to have. Next up, we're gonna put the name of the drawing. So we'll do drawing name, colon, space, and then drawing name. This one is just drawing one, and that's taking it directly from here. So let's see if I can get that to update. So if I'm gonna rename this title block, it should automatically update right here. And then last, we're going to do our scale. So that's the um, scale for your actual drawing. So whether it's one to one, one to two, one to three, and so on, uh, this will automatically populate it. So you'll select sheet scale. And we haven't given a sheet scale. So this will just be blank for now. And then lastly, we will uh, put the sheet number. And we haven't really done any multiple sheet drawings, but we certainly could in the future. So here we want to put our sheet number. And then after our sheet number, we're gonna list the total number of sheets. So let's do backslash, and then we'll do total sheets. So not only will it populate the sheet number for this drawing, it will populate the sheet, the total number of sheets that we have in our drawings. So I'll click the green check and hit escape to get out of that. And we're pretty much done with the title block. We just need to do a few things to make sure that it is usable for us in the future. So from here, we're going to right click, export, select DWT. So yours may have been on PDF. We've done a lot of exporting in PDFs. We're gonna do DWT, file name should be title block. You can put your name after it if you'd like. But if you wanna just leave it as title block, that is fine. We will click the export button. And then we're actually gonna leave this file. We're gonna go back to our Onshape documents, go to owned by me, and then we're going to do import files. So under import files, we're going to select our DWT file that we just exported. When we click open there, it should upload it into your documents. And now, when I go to, let's say, create a new drawing, let's go on to one of our recent things that we did. This is 1.3.4. 
we were drawing this little screwdriver uh, holder, little base thing. And we had this title block here. That's our, our default one from the ANSI A template. If we went back to our Parse Studio 2 and tried to create a new drawing, we should be able to go to Created by Me, and we'll see that new template or the one we just created in here. If I select four views, we should see that title block actually be populated now automatically, and we should see it have our little logo with our four views here, and that's exactly what we do see. So part one, drawn by, scale, drawing name, and our date, as well as the sheet number and the total number of sheets. One thing I maybe should have uh, adjusted in our template was expanding this so that we don't get that uh, switching to two lines. All right, so that's one thing you may want to go back and update since I kind of overlooked that when I was making the template. That's it for this video. Um, hopefully this helped and gives you a nice cool title block you can use in all future drawings. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching.